This country's most recent deliberations with the United States Office of Foreign Assets Control, or OFAC, have been promising. This means another step has been taken to sell the Alphanero superyacht. So says Antigua Barbuda's port manager, Darwin Telemac. Antigua Barbuda's government had been seeking to absolve itself of sanctions-related liabilities associated with the vessel and have them passed on to the new owner following the sale. Yesterday we got word that the U.S. government has also uh, decided to broaden um, the, 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 what they are prepared to do to assist the owners in not having to go through some of the rigors of getting the, the issues of the liability uh, themselves. They are going to absolve it through what we are, pre what we are doing. So we are applying to them for removal of sanctions and they are now saying, okay, we will, we will not only do that, but we will include uh, the, the, the removal of the liability from the new owners as well with that uh, initial uh, application that you're making. Telemark reveals what this now means. When the owner gets it, they don't have to do any such uh, applications. It's all done and they can go with it. So that makes it even more exciting. Hopefully the bid can go up because of that and we can get a little bit more money. We are hoping that that happens within the next couple of weeks uh, or maybe days. I, I, I would say it's eminent. And as for potential bidders and when the green light will be given? OFAC has everything they want from us. What we want from them now is the license to say go. Uh, they gave us yesterday a list of names that they approved to be part of the bidding process. We may get a few more in the next few days, but I can tell you once we get the license, the PM is ready to uh, indicate to, to me and, and the group to go ahead, press the button, we will be auctioning that vessel. The highest bidder gets it, and we will receive a check that will be given to the accountant general, who will then ensure that Antigua has some funds from this process. The port manager has credited Antigua Barbuda's ambassador to the United States and the OAS, Ambassador Ronald Saunders, this country's permanent representative to the International Maritime Organization, Ambassador Dwight Gardner, the team from the Attorney General's office and Prime Minister Gaston Brown for their support to expedite the sale. For ABS News, I am Ursula Charles, Jr.